to Yorkshire Voice, I'm Hannah McDonough. And I'm Chelsea Ward. Parents in Leeds have been fined the most in West Yorkshire for taking their children out of school during term times. Over the past year and a half, 30,000 penalties have been given out. Overall, the fines for parents across West Yorkshire has exceeded £1 million. Louis Orchard reports. Year 5 students here in Parkland Primary School are nearing the end of their term. But some parents in Yorkshire have taken their children out of term times, which is a growing issue around Yorkshire. 30,000 fines have already been issued over the past year and a half. That's resulted in over a million pounds in charges. Parents taking their children on holidays in term time, two, three weeks can be extremely uh, damaging to a child's progress. And, and the teacher is expected to somehow or other adapt to that by enabling the child in some way to catch up with the work that they have missed. And that puts additional burden on the teacher and we must recognise that at this time the cuts that are coming to schools will mean that almost certainly there will be larger class sizes and teaching assistants are going to lose their positions. So there will be even more pressure on teacher. Inflated prices during school holiday means some parents are willing to risk the fines. If you take the mic and you, you say, oh, I'm going to take two weeks here, two weeks there, then it impacts on your child's education and you're, they're missing loads of school, then that's wrong because then that's not in the best interest of your child or the school. But if it's a day or two here or there, because then they can have a nice holiday and it's one day, then yeah. The government tells me that I shouldn't and I believe it's for the, it's for the, for the better, for the better for my children, so I wouldn't take, take them out during term time now. Of working in a school is literally that day if they don't get it they don't redo it so you can miss a huge chunk out of the, um, the learning. Councils can give a £60 penalty for taking their children out of school during term times so that can double if not paid within 21 days. With the general election coming up candidates from six political parties have taken their message to young people today in a local debate. The politicians have, put un have been put under pressure at Leeds Trinity University in Horsforth as part of the Count Me In event. The candidates are all hoping to become an MP for Pudsey, Horsforth and Ayresborough, represented Labour, Conservative, the Lib Dems, Green Party, the Yorkshire Party and the Independents. Um, well, I think it's really important that students vote. Um, young people don't vote um, as much as older generations. Um, basically, as you get older, you vote more is generally what happens in Britain. So I think it's really important that all the candidates or prospective candidates have come um, to Leeds Trinity this morning so that um, as a kind of symbolic gesture to students and say, look, we do care about what you think. We do care. We want you to vote. Um, so here's what we stand for. Today is the last day you can use your old £5 notes. The new notes have been in use since last September. The old notes will still be accepted by the bank, but after today, they will be no longer accepted in shops and restaurants. I have been out in the streets of Henley today to ask the locals their opinions on the new notes. I prefer the new £5 notes, but I've noticed already in the paper that they've already been frauded, and I'm trying to figure out how they managed to do that when they've put so much effort into making a new note so that no one can actually do fraudulent on them and they haven't been out that long either. It's easier to use and doesn't rip as much um, and yeah I'd say they kind of look nice as well I guess. It feels more solid like you're not going to rip it or break it. Yeah. Here's the news in brief. Doncaster has re-elected their mayor. Ros Jones has maintained her place after winning over 50% of the votes. She's been the borough's elected mayor since 2013 and was given the honour for her services to local government in a ceremony at Buckingham Palace. The first companies to open in the refurbished Peace Hall in Halifax have been announced. There will be a mixture of new start-ups and returning businesses, including retail chain Harvey's, jewellers and accessory shops Duella, Loafers Records and the Escaporium, a brand new Halifax theme adventure game. It follows last week's announcement. The 18th century landmark will be open on Yorkshire Day, August the 1st. Burberry have announced that, that 300 jobs are to be relocated to Leeds from London. The brand have said they are going to be opening a new service in the city centre in October and aim to save the company £100 million. Staff in London will have the choice to relocate or be made redundant. Today marks the Catch for Kids Superhero Day. The charity launched the campaign in the bid to raise money for local disadvantaged children. We've been asking you to send in your pictures and we have some great ones. Here's Mitchell Hornigold from Blackpool with his take on Robin, which I think is a very 
great one. That is a good one. I'm expecting Batman to pop up somewhere. Yeah, in or just me as Batgirl because he was very good looking indeed. <laughs> And here's Holly McDonald from Bromley in Greater London, dressed as Superwoman. Now that Well, that's is... not Superwoman, that's Wonder Woman. That's Wonder Woman. <laughs> for one. Wonder, so, um, Wonder Woman. But I, I'm not brave enough to do no. a Wonder Woman, I don't think. I thought that was a good one. Very nice. And here's Billy Stevenson and his friends from Watford, dressed as Superman, Captain America and Robin. Now, I'm not sure about the Robin. It's sort of similar to the other one. I, I think I prefer the first one. Yeah, I think I prefer the first one. That's Captain America... Mm, he doesn't take anything with like, you know Chris Evans as I'm Captain not, I'm America. Not, I'm, not, so. I'm not a fan anyway of uh, Captain America. Mm. So who's your favourite? I guess like Ant Man. <laughs> Ant Man. Yeah. Oh, really? How come? Because I'm short and he can make himself short. So. <laughs> My favourite superhero is Gru because he's big and hunky. <laughs> My favourite superhero is yeah. uh, Son Goku from Japanese manga. Dragon Ball is the best, very strong and uh, he is super popular and he has a uh, lot of girls. And that's all from us in the studio today. Thank you very much for joining us. If you want to join in the conversation, follow us on Twitter using at Yorkshire V or on Facebook and our, on our website yorkshirevoice.com. Have a very good weekend. We'll see you next week.